Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, I want to show you some kind of um, setup that I did using animation nodes and Blender Grease Pencil. So you will see a lot of things happening here in the scene. It is already a kind of a customized layout. Over here, we have um, animation nodes, which I will explain in a, in a minute. And here we have something that's coming from the camera perspective. So if you hit this thing, um, it's going to go uh, into this view. This is the normal 3D view. Um, over here, we have the timeline. And we also have the graph editor down below. Okay. This is the timeline and this is a graph editor. So a lot of things happening. Um, and what's actually going on here is actually I'm creating this um, wiggle kind of effects. And it's actually rather simple. The wiggle happens because of um, the way I arrange this gris pencil in layer. And then I have something here that's actually kind of aiming and looking at um, our objects in focus so this kind of wiggle effects is kind of um, getting more popular these days if you are actually using Facebook 3d or there are a couple of apps kind of like slide ARs and things like that um, so basically you can look at an artwork which is layered um, and then if you move your head around to the left or to the right, ups and down, you're gonna have this kind of um, wiggle effects. Or in the case of Facebook 3D, you kind of wiggling or wobbling the, your smartphone, or, um, and then you get this kind of parallax. And the part that uh, you're looking at is not moving so much. Like in this case, the monkey doesn't move much, but uh, you can see the the cloud and the the foreground on the background of the cloud is kind of moving. So it's kind of cute, kind of cute little effects. It's actually pretty, pretty basic in a way, but uh, it's still kind of fun. So you can have, um, in this case, I have a couple of grease pencil, of course. So like I said, it's really, really simple effects. Um, here I have an empty, which is um, actually gonna be the aim or the look at. In this uh, in Blender term, it's actually called um, track two. So object constraint. I'm constraining the camera into the empty, and the camera you can see there's a, an axis x y z, and I'm making sure the the z minus z is pointing into the empty target, and the up is still the y. So so that's uh, being influenced one hundred percent. Um. And then, using animation nodes, I'm simply rotating the camera. So it's giving, giving this uh, wobbling kind of effects. So, and the wobble is because inside animation nodes, I'm, I simply have the sine and cosine. Um, so I have a frame basically goes into multiply, so this controls the speed of the wobble. So it can be really slow, but normally that's around, that's about right. And then sine and cosine will go into the, the X and the Z of the camera. And I'm simply moving the camera um, clockwise. So it's rotating. I can make the wobble like a little bit bigger. So we, now the effect is kind of lost, but normally if you just move your head a little bit and then so it's kind of wiggling, you get the parallax and you, it looks like 3D uh, or 2.5D. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that's the effect. It's really, really simple and I have a bit of control to offset the camera a little bit. Uh, but other than that, it's, that's pretty much it. Um, the grease pencil itself, I'm still getting used to grease pencil, but here we have the monkey. You can have two monkey, um, and each monkey can have uh, their own material. So the skin can be separate, and you can give 
a different color, I believe. Oh, yeah, something like that. Okay, so that's cool. So now we have two monkey, or maybe two is two little of a group. So let me make it like three monkeys. Now it's a little bit merrier, and we have a cloud and things like that. And I can still kind of adjust the cloud position and the rotate and scale, whatever. Um, yeah, basically, I'm making sure I have some objects in the middle and some foreground objects. Each one of them is a separate grease pencil objects, and I have this, <laughs> I have this fish, also kind of adding the depth. Um, I can still control the fish actually. Grease pencil itself. It's really really powerful. I, I, I don't think many people know this feature if they, they first came to Blender but it's actually a really big part of Blender um, and it's actually 2D animations inside a 3D environment so it's really really powerful and you can have keyframe you can adjust the keyframe um, this is like the dope sheets to control the timing of the animations spacing and the timing everything can be controlled on top of that grease pencil have material and also a way you can control the stroke stroke thickness so there's a lot there's a lot in with grease pencil itself if you look at the monkey itself which is a uh, something you can create from here just create a monkey the default monkey head for the grease pencil the monkey has a lot of material and each material is for different parts of the monkey so I'm actually animating the eyes of the monkey a little bit so now we have a full effect this setup actually um, so like I said I mentioned about slide AR they are actually um, there's actually a way to to do this kind of thing using JavaScript but slide AR is doing it with AR and you can kind of anchor it into any image or smartphone and then you look at it with another smartphone it's very very interesting you can perhaps do this using reality composer app if you are using apple um, ios 13 or ipad os it's possible what i'm doing here is really kind of um, making a prototype in a way so imagine you make this in blender and then you export it out and it becomes like a layered um, animations for this kind of uh, wiggle or parallax effects so it's pretty interesting um, if you set it up properly it's it can be really powerful especially especially if you actually add something like a frame for example let me try doing that very very quickly go to edit mode and inset what is inset um, I'm just gonna extrude it, scale it down. Oh, is this an inset? Wow, it's probably not an inset, but you get the idea. I'm just gonna kill this face. So, kill this. Okay, now I have this frame, scale it in Y. Sometimes I can do a quick modeling. Sometimes I, I'm, I feel like it's a beginner, but uh, that's okay. You can turn it into some kind of frame, put it over there. And let's see if this effect is kind of working. Well, in a way, you will have more like the 3D effects happening all over the place, uh, all over the place. But the frame usually add uh, some kind of context. Uh, you don't need the frame anyway. So as long the camera is wiggling, so this should be your head in a real life environment. This is your head kind of wiggling side by side, and you get this 3D effects. So it's kind of um, pretty much what I want to show you. Um, yeah, so if you maybe if we turn everything into mesh, we can just export it out. But I, I haven't tested it out. 
um, I don't think that's happening. Like, it might actually work right away, but uh, um, I doubt it. Grease pencil probably is not exportable like that, but you can always render each part of the mesh separately as a different PNG layers, and then you make separate layers and then use app like slide ar or reality composer just to stack them together if i'm not wrong adobe adobe aero also kind of doing the same thing but you need to have adobe photoshop and then each layers can become um, this kind of wiggle effects okay so yeah i think that's explaining everything so this is the wiggle effects once again you can control the speed the speed just make it kind of slow and make this slightly wiggling and rotating that's a quick parallax wiggle using animation nodes and wrist pencil hopefully you enjoy this let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye